Here's a secret. Pro pickleball players reset the ball by accident. The reset is one of the most overemphasized shots in pickleball, and we're gonna talk about whether you should even be attempting this shot. Commonly held pickleball knowledge is that you should slow down the ball when your opponent is speeding up at you. Take a look at what happens when we do that. Reset. Reset. Ah. I can be the best resetter in the world, but what does that show David? It shows him that I'm not a threat. He can keep speeding the ball up at me as much as he wants and without any repercussions. Also, my shot is so much more difficult than David's. I have to take off the perfect amount of pace and drop that ball right into the kitchen, 10 feet in front of me, whereas David can hit the ball anywhere into this entire court and still have it go in. So he has a bunch of margin for error and I have to execute a very difficult shot perfectly in order to get back into this point. Now watch what happens when I counterattack rather than resetting. Counterattacking is what actually forces players to play the dink game. When I first started playing pickleball, I tried banging everything and it worked against the people who were just trying to soften it up. But as soon as somebody smacked one back at me twice as hard, that's when I realized, oh wait, maybe I do have to dink the ball and set up those better shots. So when we're at the kitchen, pro pickleball players are pretty much always looking to counterattack on our opponent's speed ups. You do see pros resetting from the kitchen, but a lot of times it's actually happening by accident. The way that we're hitting the ball is we're getting our paddle in position as quickly as we can and then hitting out. Sometimes if our opponents are attacking us so quickly, we don't have time for option number two. The ball actually hits our paddle before we even swing at it, and that's when we get that accidental reset. Yeah, baby! Woo! Dude, we've been playing for four hours. How do you have so much energy? Uptime energy, baby! Woo! Yeah, baby! Uptime Energy has zero sugar and cane sugar versions. Oh, yeah, come on! Uptime Energy has caffeine derived from green tea and has added L-theanine to help you reduce that stress and anxiety. Uptime Energy comes in one orange, blueberry, pomegranate, mango, pineapple, original citrus, raspberry, lemon, sweet melon, tropical passion fruit, and strawberry dragon fruit. Your uptime is now. Yeah, baby. Dude, where do I get uptime energy? HEB, Target, Amazon, and more. But to work on this idea of getting the paddle into position first and then swinging, what we're gonna do is just a quick hands drill. We're gonna go nice and slowly, and we're gonna work on getting our paddle into position and almost in a stationary spot before we then finish this swing. So when we're volleying, we actually have basically two movements. We have the getting the paddle into position, and then we have the forward swing. Sometimes we reset by accident because we've only had enough time to get the paddle into position, and we didn't have enough time to actually go swing at that ball. Another drill that I like to do is called 30-60-90. The first time I hit, I'm gonna go 30% of my maximum speed. The second time I hit, 60%. The third time, 90%. 30. 60, 90. 30, 60, 90. So one area where I am gonna be trying to reset is this mid-court. If I'm in this mid-court, I don't wanna be initiating a firefight. I don't wanna be counterattacking because I have to get this ball up over the net and my opponent has way too much time to react. They can also get this ball nice and down towards my feet. So when I'm in this transition zone, I'm gonna be thinking, reset that ball. So one of my favorite ways to work on this reset is I'm actually gonna have my partner come all the way up to the net inside that kitchen. I'm gonna work on trying to reset the ball as if David is in his normal spot, but he's gonna work on trying to hit this ball right towards my feet every time here.
nice. What you'll notice here is that I've got a really good low ready position and I'm giving myself plenty of margin for this. I'm not hitting on a line drive, but rather giving myself a little bit of arc to get that ball to drop into the kitchen. And this is something that just takes a ton of repetitions. But what you'll see is I'm not swinging. That was rough. I'm not giving energy back to the ball, but rather absorbing it like a shortstop who's fielding a ground ball. And men's stuff is now underway. One other thing is I'm not taking a backswing. If I take a backswing, I'm gonna have too much power on these shots. Simplify it for yourself. Always think about counterattacking when you're from the kitchen and always think about resetting when you're in that transition zone. You'll win a lot more pickleball points because of it. If you wanna work on the mechanics of your reset from the midcourt, check out this video.